Jones alleged numerous events in these papers. For example, Jones, who identifies as a heterosexual Christian man, Mm. claims that Combs repeatedly and intentionally groped his private parts without his consent. That This happened in L.A., New York, Florida, the Virgin Islands, and that Combs also continually forced Jones to be in his presence while he was naked and showered. So with that, Jones is suing Combs for a claim of sexual assault and harassment. Jones says that this resulted in severe emotional distress and anxiety. But Jones claims that Combs attempted to groom him into homosexual sex. And one of the ways that Jones says Combs tried to do that was by using producer Stephen Aaron Jordan, who Jones apparently looked up to. Combs allegedly showed Jones a video of Jordan engaging in a sex act with another man as a way to, quote, ease his anxiety concerning homosexuality and included in this complaint are alleged screenshots of that purported video. By the way, Jones alleges that Combs has hidden cameras in every room of his various homes and that he has secret recordings of celebrities and associates, this compromising footage of every person that has attended his parties, which, by the way, from a legal point of view, would be a violation of civil privacy laws and criminal Ooh. Yeah, so Bad boy we, we try life. we try our best to avoid anything that's still in the realm of um, gossip. gossip. Yeah. This is now on regular news now. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is <laughs> coming for him. Um, so what I what struck me <clears throat> was um, the the fact that um, the guy Lil Rod so I, apparently said he was a Christian. Mm. And it made me think of all the artists that we've mentored or, you know, played on our show or, you know, aspire to be a Christian hip hop artist, things like that, producer, whatever. They're just not aware of how the industry could turn you out. Yeah. yeah. Turn you out. Um, I mean, this this is what people have been speculating goes on behind closed doors in the industry at these parties. Yeah. Well, Hollywood will force you to do as far as your faith. And we're starting to hear more and more stories about how things really get done. And as a Christian, what do you feel? Do you think, I mean, we've seen some stuff. So what, what, what do you we think? Seen? Of, we say that every week. We have, we've said it before, some of this stuff. But the point is, the point is, we didn't do anything. The point is, is that it happens. And I don't think, I think people assumed, I know I did. I think a lot of people assume that this is just conspiracy. This yeah, is just, yeah, you know, yeah, people yeah. making up mm-hmm. stuff. It is not. Yeah, not. There are people who are into wild fornication, yeah. underage pedophilia, yeah. um, drug trafficking, everything. And you as a Christian are walking into that thinking that you have the same tools that they have. But as soon as you walk in the door, they got you on camera yeah. and they're watching you. Yeah. Every single step you make and then they'll use it against you. And, that, and, and good meaning people who went in with the right mindset, get caught in something that they thought was just an innocent little slip up, and they got you for the rest of your life. Yeah, man. I think I think the thing is, um, with dealing with this, I think lust is never satisfied. Some, yeah. some think somebody told me that before. I can't remember who, but I think probably Maya. I can't remember who, <laughs> but um, I think I think and the re- the reason I said that is that it starts like I think you said this a couple weeks ago or last week that it starts off with just. A little bit of here. Yeah. We're talking about freak Nick. You're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. like a little bit, a little bit. And I think sometimes people think because um, I'm, I'm, I'm working with this big producer and like I want to get further in this. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to make him mad because if I make him mad, then I'm, I'm, I got to go back down to, yeah. you know, back to Jersey or whatever I'm, where I'm from. You know what I mean? And, and, and these people talk. So it's not like, it's not like, if I work with Diddy, I can work with JD or I can work with these yeah. other people. It's you get because blackballed. you get blackballed. So it's like that. But I would say this, and I'm not trying to blame the church on this or anything like that. But I think the question, the number one question is, why do we let talent go to the world first to blow up and then come back home? Because there's nothing to blow up in over here. <laughs> it's just not possible. Mm-hmm. Number one, I'm saying is there's church musicians that go and play for other people because they, they get a check. From a church, but they don't get that love to, hey man, you know, you don't have to go out there and play for these people. You can do the, this, this, do that. But I just feel like it feels like sometimes people have to go to the world 
and 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 then the church go like, yo. We always been we he been here for, since he was a kid. And da, da, da. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that happened to Jesus. Yeah, it's, more, like, <laughs> right. it's the same thing. But things. I'm just saying, I'm saying that to say, going back to using him as the Christian situation is like sometimes I feel like we don't we shouldn't even have to do go. He shouldn't have to go to Diddy. I think, That's what I'm saying. I think, man, we it's it's certain Who people who go to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's certain people who who have the uh, the calling to go navigate within that that mainstream realm. And um, be a light in the midst of darkness. But if you're not spirit led and you're going into the devil's playground, there's, there's no end to the wickedness. There's no end to the the, the darkness that you're going to encounter. Yeah. And if you're not built for it, if you're not led to go into that place, you can be exposed to some things that can change your life forever, and not and not in a good way. Yeah. Um. So I think people just really have that desire, like you said, to blow up, to make money, to have yeah. fame and notoriety. To what end? You know, how far are you willing to go? Are you willing to go into a place where you see darkness and destruction and negativity? Are you willing to risk it just to get a check? And if you play that game, sometimes yeah. it don't work out for you. But but going back to Diddy, I, I, I think the thing is power, man. Power. One of those things is you 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 grow in that power. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And who's to say he what he may he may have gotten to something where Word on the street, quote unquote, with Clive Davis, because that's his mentor. That's one of his mm -hmm. mentors. And yeah. Clive Davis came out recently, <laughs> a couple of years ago, say he was bisexual. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he could have told him just the way we move, like yeah, just how we yeah. do. Yeah, and that could, yeah. and that could be true. I mean, I don't know if true is false or true, but I'm just saying sometimes those things happen. You know what I mean? And those things, when those things happen, it's just like man, I don't know what I don't know what to do in those situations like that. But I, I think the sad part about it is him having cameras in everybody's room. And on those rooms, so that yeah. so that if you, so that if you do do something foolish, he got you, got you. Yep. So yeah, so VC said, uh, right plane, and many Christian artists think they're built for it, and they're not. And I think that's the issue. Yeah. That's why I'm bringing this up is because when you get put in those rooms, and it's like like you know the example we always use, me and Ryan was like, oh, they got strippers upstairs. You coming? Yeah. And then you feel like, oh, I'm gonna be a lame if I say no, or yeah. I'm not gonna be able to network anymore if I say no, yeah. or to whatever it is that you that that temptation comes. And there's you you could you could think, oh, I would never, I would never. But man, I've seen a lot of people say mm -hmm. I would never, and then they all up in it. <laughs> and then now they asking you to come up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. So it's yeah, it's real. It's like you said, people don't want to go back home. They're like, either you gonna do this, you gonna go back home, be broke and poor. What you gonna do? And depending on where your integrity is and your character, like some people are gonna be with it, and some people gonna be like, nah. Yeah. That's why you wonder why some artists like, man, they had the number one hit song. Oh, they had a successful album. What happened to them? They just disappeared out of nowhere. So folks don't want to play the game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It, it, yeah, compromise is big. And I, I remember um, me tweeting this saying compromise is like the signature for selling your soul. Like it's really just the compromising of areas where you knew you would stand on. Mm -hmm. And then once you get broken, that's it. Like once somebody, once you compromise, if you saying to people, man, I ain't never doing this with no dude. And you get, and that happens, then that's. Your compromise, you just your signature. Stay tuned to the end of this topic because um, we have a poll up right now. Do you think the stuff about Diddy allegedly is an isolated incident or widespread? So, um, do, I'll, I'll reveal the the results of our live audience. Do y'all think it's bigger than Diddy though? Do you mm -hmm. think he's the one? Oh, stuff? Yeah. Do you think it's somebody bigger than him? Like that they this, can? This gonna open the doors to a lot of stuff. I believe. I believe this is just the first of many. It's gonna. Cat Williams came out and said, he said 2024, he said all truth going to be revealed. He said, Wait, here's the thing. <laughs> if if you find out Diddy is, by the end of the year, if Diddy is okay, he told on somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. You oh, see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody got told on. If if he's good, yeah. you see him walking around, somebody, he told would on somebody. Be, would y'all be upset if if, if, he, if Jay name is missing in all this? Would I be I'll, upset? Why would I be upset? I'm just saying, for people who <laughs> like Jay-Z, I know people would be like, yo, that Man, dude. don't nothing surprise me with these jokes, man. <laughs> Shoot, I, hey, I ain't surprised by it. nothing these jokers do, man. The with the devil is involved, it's no, it's like you said, the flesh is never satisfied. Like it's yeah. no limit to the wickedness and darkness that could be going on. Shoot, it's gonna be more. I feel like they, they had the little Epstein list. You notice they didn't even mentioned the Epstein list and all this been going oh, yeah, on. They kind of yeah, yeah. kind of swept that under the rug. Yeah. Like what happened to that list? But more and more stuff coming on. Like this seemed to be the way they function. Like Ryan Garcia was talking about 
the things that he saw, you know what I'm saying? So when stuff like this come out after that, yeah. if you thought it was conspiracy, it kind of put a little validation behind it a little bit. Do we do we owe an apology to G. Craig Lewis? Ha, we do. <laughs> we do. I remember. I remember. I we do. That, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we do. I mean, I know, I know, I know his stance on which is yeah. which is interesting because he got rappers on his church now that rap, yeah. but. I think I think I think to a certain extent when I when I I check out some of his messages yeah. when I look back at stuff the stuff he was saying it lined up perfect. So if you don't know who <laughs> if you don't know who G Craig Lewis is years ago years ago I remember um I I gave a uh, Jeremiah a DVD yeah. what was it called No that wasn't them that wasn't that, that was somebody, somebody else. that was that Lester Crawley stuff No but the that rock was the same, and roll stuff. yeah 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 but them people online too but yeah, I know yeah, you're yeah. talking about yeah But G Craig Lewis back in the day was like hip hop is evil yeah. is evil origins can never be changed yeah. that kind of thing and he was revealing a lot of this stuff like yeah. these people have secret lives and all that and I remember me and uh, Jeremiah was kind of like man he hating you know <laughs> that was kind of attitude we had and it's like I don't know he was right <laughs> he was, I still don't like his tactics 